do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends now we are going to discuss about what is the electronic structure of ethane so basically there are three uh, type of structures that we are going to draw that is the lewis dot structure uh, that is the uh, ball and stick structure and the last is basically structural formula so we are now concerned with this three structures and basically these are all called to be basically electronic structures of ethane so let us start with that so before going to the electronic structure of ethane it is very much essential for us to understand that uh, what kind of uh, the bond uh, and how the bond would uh, take place between the two carbon carbon um, so as to form carbon carbon triple bond so for that we know that is uh, carbon has an atomic number of 6 so therefore we could write it as 1s2 2s2 2p2 so in the form of orbital we know that uh, the s orbital consists of basically two electrons as you could see over here the p orbitals has basically in this case is now it has two electrons so that is the reason uh, that uh, during the formation of one carbon uh, with another carbon suppose the bond forms between one carbon and another carbon atom the carbon carbon triple bond takes place and that is the reason in which we could see that uh, one carbon uh, carbon double bond that is one bond between the two carbon atoms is uh, sigma bonded while the other two bonds uh, the remaining bonds are basically the pi bond are the pi bonds and they are basically the weak bonds so related to that we are going to study about the lewis dot structure of ethane so now starting with the first one that is lewis dot structure And this is for ethane and we know that the carbon is the one which consists of uh, a valency of 4 as we could see over here that is uh, the outermost uh, that is uh, the outermost shell or we could say that consists of basically four electrons overall so as you could see over here it consists of four electrons and four electrons are being needed so as to complete the full octet and that is the reason the valence of carbon is uh, said to be four and uh, we know that uh, the two carbon atoms in terms of an alkyne it should consist of uh, at least one carbon carbon triple bond but this will happen in this form that could be explained with the help of a lewis uh, dot structure so suppose we are talking about uh, that is ethane uh, and ethane is the one which has a molecular formula C2H2 so that could be represented in this way that is uh, the two carbon atoms that have been present and uh, the carbon uh, carbon triple bond is because of the valency of the carbon atom as we could see over here that these are the electrons of one carbon atom the valence electrons of one carbon atom and even this is the valence electron of one carbon atom and now these are been attached to the hydrogen atoms and that is the reason that we could write it this way that is uh, the hydrogen has an uh, can be represented with an x this x is represent the electron of the hydrogen and even this x it represents the electron of the hydrogen and making this to be called as the lewis dot structure and uh, it is not necessary that we should do uh, we should make it too much far even that could be made in a very close form also like this one so this is basically the lewis dot structure for uh, the structure that we have represented for uh, the ethyl so now let us move on to the next one and uh, even in this case you could see that uh, this is uh, the two electrons have been present over here and uh, that makes a one bond so even one bond would be present over here another bond and even this is the other bond that we could observe and here also we could see one bond is being present and this represents basically the structural formula if we if we have represented a bond between the two carbon atoms or all the atoms that are being present over here so now let us move on to the next one that is structural formula of uh, ethyne Or the structural representation of ethane so this indicates the total exact number of uh, the carbon carbon uh, bonds between the two carbon atom as well as the carbon hydrogen bond and uh, uh, so let us uh, represent that so this is the structural formula of ethane in which the 
among the three bonds, uh, the two uh, bonds will be the pi bond. Uh, and that happens because of the lateral overlapping of the p orbitals because uh, as we know that uh, the carbon uh, has an outermost electron or outermost orbit that uh, ends with basically the p orbitals and that is the reason that uh, it has uh, the capacity to form uh, that is a uh, lateral overlapping and that is what we could see that uh, the pi bonds are being uh, formed and among this only one would be basically sigma bond and that happens because of the hydron pollution or axial overlapping because of uh, the carbon carbon uh, p orbitals and uh, this is what we could see that uh, the carbon and hydrogen uh, this uh, forms basically sigma bond and that is a very strong bond so this is the structural formula of uh, the ethane and the last one is remaining that is a uh, stick and ball structure so i could represent over here like So it is very uh, easy to explain because uh, it is uh, dealing with uh, the hydrogen and the carbon atoms. So the bond, this could be said to be like stick between a carbon atom and uh, there is another carbon atom that we could observe and this would represent the stick or the bond that is between the carbon and the hydrogen. And uh, the bonds between the carbon and carbon can be represented in this way. That is, this middle part is the sigma bond that uh, is between the carbon and carbon. While this band structure that I'm uh, making over here is basically the pi bonds. So this is the stick and ball representation of ethane. So this is all where the representation or the electronic structure of the ethane and uh, this is how we have represented. And uh, that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood the video and uh, in this case the structural formula is the more important concern that we are going to do in this overall uh, topic or in the overall chapter. So share this video with the friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.